Hi everyone, this is April from Live Bear Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how I sketched an old house with ink and twig. I'm going to color it with watercolors as well. I start by doing a pencil sketch instead of going in directly with the ink. With the pencil line as the guide, I can now start the inking process. I try to vary the quality of the lines while drawing. This is actually the back view of those old shop houses along Jonka Walk. I took this photo while roaming around looking for a famous food seller. Well, we didn't find the food seller, but I was managed to take a picture of this view that I like. I was attracted by the interesting shapes of the rooftops and would like to sketch it. I decided to use ink and twig because I think it will help to bring out the texture and the quality of an old house. I was drawing on a 200 gram cold press watercolor paper and I was able to achieve this dry ink effect with the twig. It can pick up the texture of the paper and I can add the shadings very easily. myself by cutting off a tree branch and sharpening it. Depending on how you sharpen the tips, you can get different qualities of the lines. The ink that I'm using is a regular Chinese ink. I pour it into a small container so that I can dip the twig into the ink easily. The drawing is now almost done. I'm adding a few of those wire lines as part of the composition. These are going to make the drawing look more interesting. Now we are going to start the painting process. I'm using mainly Indian red and indigo for the building. Also a little bit of yellow ochre. The ink that I'm using is not water resistant. So that is mixing in with the colors and making the color looks a bit more darker than usual.
When I was painting, I was actually wondering if I should just leave the front white because the plants in front are not the focus of the painting. Well, I end up going in and paint them because I was also wondering how it would look if I paint them. Each painting is like an experiment and you never know the result if you have never tried it. Honestly, I don't really like the result of this one. So I might try a different approach if I ever have to paint a similar sketch next time. I decided to add some colors to the sky to finish off the painting. I hope you enjoy watching this video. This is my first ever voiceover video. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like my videos, you can click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.